if we look at our flat earth map and look at what what which uh which uh actual oh man because the sugar crop and vegetation grew in which regions of the earth you you'll understand what type of functions that nutrient or that herb or whatever that crop is has for the human body like sugar wasn't just growing in every fucking continent. No. Like that's exactly. why that's why it was such a high regard in sh- of sugar cuz yes. like, what the fuck is and, it? And, and, and um when you get it it wasn't it wasn't if, just if, based on sugar though. I like No, no, I, I it, it probably wasn't solely it was based on sugar, too, but, what I, but it was a yeah, lot, it, was, was, it was based on a lot it, of it, it, it was a bunch right, of different things. Sugar, what I'm saying right. is where they where they found a lot of cocaine. Right? Yeah. Where they found a lot of sugar they also found cocaine. Yeah. yeah, bro. When they when, when they discovered when they discovered sugar, they also discovered a lot of cocaine. Yeah, and you know what they're, they're so, both. The and same what else thing. did they discover with sugar? They're both they the same thing. Alcohol. That's why I'm saying like sugar exactly. is sugar. And the sugar, sugar, bro. Fall, but but know, it wasn't just the sugar though. Hey, I mean, what I'm, what I'm, man, yeah, everybody, right. everybody, everybody's oh, addicted to the sugar because sugar is a natural. Everybody, sti- it, sh- sugar is a Bro. natural occurring substance that's found in sugar, everything. Eh, sugar, br- like sugar, sugar is, is the found number in one rice. drug in the world. Sugar yes. is the number one drug in everybody the world. Everybody is on sugar. From you taste sugar from your baby, you know. This wanna, is my you, this is my you, question you, for y'all. Go ahead. Trigger. If we know that, if we know that the most powerful illegal natural growing drug is cocaine. Now, the most de- the most common drug is sugar. Why is it most yes. common? Because that's the most that's the most pushed out there drug. It's they, they don't call it a drug because they don't want to call it a drug. No, but if, if they, they do told that, you, if people. they if they really told you where sugar came from, like like if they told you sugar came from the butt of a cocaine tree or some co- cocaine plant or some shit, motherfuckers look at sugar totally different. But I guarantee you, sugar has a lot more commonalities to cocaine than what we think it do. Cocaine, yes, because you know what I'm I'll, like, I'll, I'll explain the process of making sugar. I'm from back home. I know all this stuff about the sugar and everything. When you yeah, when bro. you press press sugar cane, you get the juice from it, and all you have to yeah. do is leave it out in the sun, and it'll crystallize. Okay, and it'll harden to the hardened state, and then they just break it up. That's how you get the brown sugar. Now, when you refine it three, four more times, then you get white sugar. And you could just keep bleaching it and bleaching it, like yep. it's the de- it's the deadliest substance. Like it's it mimics, probably mixing it. Mi- it mimics That's exactly the honey. how they do cocaine you know what too. I mean? Yeah, it mimics the honey. They extract the um the co- the cane from the leaves, right? And then yep. true. So what they do, they take it and turn it in a liquid state, and then they bring it back to a solid state. But because yep. they use certain gases to perform that. That's why now, um, check this cocaine out. have certain gases, but sugar is a yep. natural. Uh, you don't need to use the gas. When you press the cane, you just leave it out. The sun will do everything with the dehydration process, and it just crystallizes. And then when it turns to the hardened state now, then they f- then they break it back down into it's still a solid. You know what I mean? Right. So from right. from the natural right. state to the liquid state back to the solid state. So all now that check processes. this out. That's that's real. That's real true. That's real true. Now check this out. Do you think that the people that wasn't from them lands that when they sailed their ass over there on them boats that they made from their homelands, do you think they knew that process before coming over there? Hell no. Hell no. They was taught that shit. It was taught exactly. by the people that was from that land that yes. knew how, that knew how to do that shit. That knew what that shit was and knew how to use it. Exactly. Okay, and, 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 the, and the piggyback on that that goes in deeper. You just said a mouthful when you said that certain. You look at the flat earth, earth map. There was certain food and vegetation and spices and herbs that, that grew in certain areas. Regions, oh. That would also mean that the people of that land had a specific diet. And exactly. We down salt and sugar to a certain extent, and the abuse of it is the number one reason why African Americans in America now. Got heart problems. Uh, have heart, high, high blood, blood pressure, blood pressure. Right. and diabetes. And blood pressure. Yep. Yep. Because yep. what happens? Yep. What happens? I'll explain what happens. Yeah. How the diabetes get get um is so prevalent in us is because when we consume the sugar in 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 um high amounts, it's like because we're eating meat, all that fat coat or the lining of our veins, right? And so when the sugar yep is passing through the vein naturally sugar would absorb absorb in the body through the vein 
but that's that's a person who's a vegan and don't eat meat and everything. So they'd get a lot of energy all the time and they'd be going. Yo, this and conversation what, is so damn deep right now, bro. Like so some what, shit just hit my head right now while you was talking, bro. Like, go what ahead, if man. every, what yeah. if every, Respect, every man, be all the thing, man. For real. So, so like when you eat the sugar now and um and you eat fat, the fat lines your vein, and then when the sugar passes through in your blood. It don't get to absorb in your brain, oh, in, in through in your body, so it goes straight to your pancreas and it overloads it, and 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 so your pancreas don't know what's going on because your pancreas is the part of your body that produces the sugar naturally, but it's also the part of your body that balances it out, right? right. So this overload or underload of sugar affects the pancreas, and then it don't know how to balance out the sugar when it naturally comes to that part of the body. Right, and um, that's that's just because of the meat. Because once you eat meat, the fat from the meat is gonna line your veins all through your body. Like oh, it's that, that that's that's the you, biggest you, difference between the plant based and the um, meat based diet. But FDA you know don't what? tell us this. You know what else I realized? Y'all ever y'all ever like ate around a lot of mixed different like different cultured people. Like, like, sat down at the table and just look at the type of foods they eat. And what I realized is most people of color, and I mean black people, we like our food, our meat in specific. We like our shit cooked thorough. Like, we yeah. don't like bloody meat. We don't like Real no soft. fatty meat. We don't naturally, really we like that. Like, yeah, naturally, we, we don't like all that the blood shit. Out of it. Well, hey, we, 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 bro, like, we naturally, evolve. we don't. We don't like that shit, but look, you you go to a fucking restaurant, an expensive restaurant, sit next sit next to a rich rich Caucasian or a, or Asian person or, or or something like or Korean or something, and they'll get a fucking Rare. bloody ass piece of meat. That's what they call it. You know why? Rare. Because you know why? Because their digestive systems are different. When right. You look at it when, it when when now now when it come when it comes to the raw stuff. You 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 you're looking at the Asian culture of of things. You're looking at Asia now. When you're looking at Asia, you're looking at three different three different aspects. You're looking at the Negroid, you're looking at the Mongoloid, and you're looking at the Caucasianoid. Now the Caucasianoid, right? Yep. That's the white man. Yep. The Mongoloid, what's that? That's the yellow man. Yeah. Right. Then you look at the Negroid. That's a black man. Yep. Now 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 when you look at Asia, Asia was 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 was, was like. I guess what we can call America now, because it was, it, was, it was so diverse. You got India, right? When you when you when you look at India, right? Yeah. When when you look at India, you be like, what 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 you see? You you see a bunch of different cultures. You got people that came in from Somalia and Ethiopia came over to India oh. just because of their spices and herbs. You right. got the Middle Passage. That means people came through through the other way through Greece and Italy came down through 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 uh, Iraq and all that and came over. Through and Russia, you, know, you know, to know some. I, I, I think the spices, the whole spice tree, had a deeper meaning, man. I think spices wasn't just to make your damn food taste good. No, right. Was, right. That, 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 that was the medicine. That was the medicine. Yeah, yes, that was the medicine. Yeah, I was that, that, look, that. look, look, look. Was when, 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 when it came to raw food, somebody probably killed an animal one day, and it was like because because at the end of the day, I'm I'm gonna tell you this. I mean, I don't know if y'all guys believe in like Neanderthals and all that stuff, but Neanderthals, right? Talk to yeah. them. Now, Neanderthals were were the only race of of beings or whatever the fuck you want to call them, because you know science got all these different long ass names just mm -hmm. to make some shit sound complicated, but they want you to believe the shit. Now you're looking at the the Neanderthal, right? The Neanderthal. It was able to digest meat because that was his nature. Uh, Neanderthal wanted to go on around hunting, eating vegetables and all that shit because they, that's, they, they, they were they, yeah they lived in mountains. So 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 they so they ate more so they ate more raw meat and 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 and, and they didn't cook it. They didn't. Cook you want to know something though? I think and what you're saying is right, but what I think is is more to that too. I think that yeah, I, think course, the, uh, I think the I think. Bro, I think the Neanderthal are descendants of people who were kicked out of right certain right, civilizations, bro. bro. Right. The reason why I say that yeah. is because obviously there is a ignorance of their genetic, their generations, their generations of people 
where they did not know how to plant crops. They could they did not know how to plant yeah, yeah, vegetables. They didn't they know did. how to eat vegetables. So so what I think was the people that got kicked out, they got kicked out because they were killing animals and eating them. So right, they had to separate bro. Them talk the the talk to them, bro. Talk and to separate them. them from the rest of the people. And when they separated them from the rest of the people, them people that were separated still held their views on eating animals. They didn't want to eat no vegetables. They didn't want to go for, go for no seeds. They shit, they shit, I'm going to go out here and hunt some birds. Hunt it's it's just like when they say you taste blood, like you get addicted to that. It's like when somebody having a kickboxing match, right? Or you're watching a UFC fight, and it's for the championship. And then that dude get hit one hard time in the face, right? And and his nose start to bleed. And you take that and he, and he, and he, and he lick that I blood. See that. And he feels that anger, and it's like that blood gets his adrenaline pumping and going. You it's the same aspect. Hey, I've seen a UFC fight, and I heard Dana White say, Oh, he got the taste of blood. Is about watching him going like an animal. And yeah, it's like when it, it's science. Like, blood is like an adrenaline rush. But you want to know something? Situation. Honestly, to be honest with you, I think the first animal to be a carnivore was a serpent or a reptile. Talk to him. I really do. I really think that the first creature on the planet Earth to be a, a carnivore of any type was a was a serpent. Type yeah. They they swallow their prey whole as well too. Yeah, man. And I really <laughs> and I ain't never seen no, no story about no damn snake eating no motherfucking apple, eating no motherfucking nothing. You know what I'm saying? Nothing fruit, no vegetables, and none of that shit. I mean, I don't hear about them stories. Hey, you hear about snakes in gardens because the gardens attract animals that the snake can eat. You know right. what I'm saying? So, like, so, so, so I, 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 I realized that too. So I think about all of this shit where they be talking about this people out here that 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 could be part reptile and shit. That shit don't that shit don't turn me the fuck off. It don't turn me down because at the end of the day, I feel like the shit's possible. And if it is possible, it leads me to believe that them the motherfuckers that's responsible for everybody eating meat in the first place. Well, check this out, it, brother. It, it, it's said. possible. It's possible. At brother the end of the day, it's said, possible. Think about it like this. Live streams, he was like, them beings, yeah, go ahead. Oh, he was like, what if you know, somebody said, well, how's all, how were animals were eating vegetarians? Listen, I had dogs my whole life. Whenever my dog gets sick, He'll take his He's ass eating grass. Eat some fucking grass. Bro. Grass. Yep. You know, what yep. you, dog? Every dog knows that's nah. the medicine. If you feed them fruit at a young age, they they love that shit. It's deeper than that too, because a, a a dog is medicating itself based off of the, a dog can't feed itself. Hey, hey, so somebody grab feed, Ken. Hey, Ken, Ken yeah, Ken's in. trying to get in again. Like if we if we if we trying to feed our damn dog and I'm all of, all the dog email food now. animal protein in it. If all the dog food got animal protein in it, that dog's brain is just like a computer. Right. It's going to engineer that dog to crave that meat. And, and, but at the end of the day, it's going to make wanna, the dog you, sick. You guys want to know something else, too? That's what they got there. You, you, you know, most of the animals, most of the animals that, um, that eat meat and everything, right? Like, you know that when we lived in the garden, we had a lot of these animals as pets, Right. So if you notice today, we still have our dogs as pets and our cats, and um, sometimes people have lions as pets. And you can make any like animal that, your pet, right? And yep. horses and That's right. Fact. And so we feed our animals whatever we feed them, and like I think a lot of the animals getting the taste of blood was from our own hands as well too. Right. I believe. I believe we are all. All of us. I mean, everything living is subconsciously linked. And what I mean by that is, and I I, I, I talked about this the other day, man, because uh, somebody else touched on this and it got me thinking about it for the past couple of weeks. And uh, I do believe that when man started consuming animals, the animals, you know, I think a bird can communicate with a damn, a damn rabbit. I think Hell a rabbit yeah. can communicate with a damn well, bear. Well, so stop, think, man. Like, it's like so, when birds grow, grow a certain age, they all talk. That's why they have a tongue. Hey, hey, like not, anything not with a tongue. Are. Not, we'll not, talk. That's why I believe. Not that that's why I believe. I, I watch, you know, I watch. Hold on. Uh, it's a, it's a show called The Blue Planet, and yeah. uh, there's a, there's a certain scene, bro, where there, it's like the certain bird, and uh, I forgot the name of the damn animal that's on Lion King. You know, Timon and Pumbaa. Right. Yeah. The, the damn is, animal. Whenever, whenever, like a lion and shit come around, the damn, the damn, uh, the little rat looking shit. It'll alert the damn pigs and shit and whatever animal around that hey, y'all need to move because <laughs> lion coming. So you right, bro. Like we that we, lets we, you know everybody minded. has a role. 
in the yeah, hierarchy. Yeah, monkeys be warning, warning people. I mean, warning people, warning animals too. <laughs> yeah, I you know, know. believe, bro, that like we can communicate with animals. It's just we, like he said, we because we ate meat. It, it it took us out of the kingdom and the balance of everything because even in India, they don't eat cows. They 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 keep the the cow is a sacred animal. You know what I mean? Check like, this out. This, yeah. yeah. And check this out. It's deeper than that. You know, and now I know this is all true is because you look at all the animals that are still vegetarians today. They have the they have the most positive responses from Mother Nature. What I mean right. by that is like yeah. is like the fucking what is that the beluga whale or the humpback whale? It right. has actual fish that actually cleans in its mouth because it only it only consumes algae. It only consumes algae. It's not a carnivore. So like the fish is welcome inside of that that whale's mouth to clean the whale's clean mouth. Them. Right. I Mutualistic see relationships. The whale, the whale don't fact. even eat the fish, bro. Matter of like, fact, what's the strongest? Animal mammal in the jungle, and it's a vegetarian, it's a fucking gorilla. Yeah, 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 yeah. My yeah. grandma used to tell you me stories know, about hey, you, you guys want to hear this? Know. My grandma used to tell me stories about um, men and beasts, and how we used to talk to the beasts. And she said, like, her, her grandparents used to tell her stories, and she said, um, the reason why why the creator uh disconnected her tongues was because the beast always knew the creator when they saw him coming and they would tell oh, man this deep. and and um one day the creator was coming to test a man to see if he would help help him you know to see if he was a good person and the dog seen the creator and told the man yeah the, the creator is coming you know the almighty is coming so when, when the creator came, the man knew already, so he acted pleasant, you know? And then the creator was and like... You, and you want to know up, something? Upset after that, true. so he, 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 um, he, he bind the tongue between man and beast. <laughs> this is all and these little stories. I think, like, that's, I think that's true. I think that really happened because uh, I, because when you ever, you ever seen it, you ever ran up and walked up to a dog that don't know you, never seen you before, mm-hmm. but you know, you got positive energy because you just had a good day or you feeling good or whatever the dog gonna respond to you the way you feel right you know, when I, when you got conflict in your mind or you got some kind of some kind of ill ill intentions or if you walking in there stressed out or you got some negativity in your, your dog can sense it on you your dog can see it on you like like right. these animals are way more fucking advanced than we are and we treat them like shit so like right. i was watching a tv show like i was watching a tv show called zoo this damn TV show is literally about all of the animals responding to the fact that humans are not taking care of the world responsibly, so the animals as right. a whole turn on humans. I'm it talking goes birds, deep, my bro. Cats, like, I used to I used to raise parrots when I was a little kid, right? I, so I had a few parrots. I had a one a parrot for a long time. We called him Lucky Boy. You'd say anything, you tell him. But yeah, parrots, I'll tell you a little thing about parrots. They have this little black thing on their tongue when they're just a little chick. And as soon as they grow a little older, a little, little like a scab, and it falls off their tongue, and then they could talk. That's amazing. Wow. Hey, but we were talking about how the, the dog can feel your vibes, bro. I had took some shrooms, and I was walking outside, bro. A stray cat came and rubbed up on me. You know how cats don't fuck with you, period, let alone right. a stray cat. And that hoe was fucking with me. I guess it could feel that I was on shrooms and had good vibes and shit. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. And, and I, cats I, I, are very... Yeah, cats these are creatures will come to you. Animal. I've never cats been are, bit by a dog, man. Yeah, me either, man. Cats are very high sensory animals. So I was going, I was going to touch on that with the lion, because the lion we got to remember is a feline. It's a cat, cat right? right? It's a feline. So when we think of king of the jungle, the real king of the jungle is the gorilla, right? Because mm-hmm, right. what we got to really realize is the gorilla runs the jungle, not he the does. lion. He does. Yeah. The gorilla runs that shit. The gorilla is naturally the governor of the fucking jungle. The, so, yep. because cause, cause when I think they talk about man, That's why they get King Kong. That's why they make up King Kong. Yes. Yeah, I think when they say mankind, they're talking about primates. Right, man bro. is humans. Right, man is bro. humankind. So I think when they say mankind, they're talking about primates, and that's why you got movies like Planet of the Apes, where okay, you got so these. Apes I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, gonna go I'm, right I'm, back I'm, to what I'm, you I'm, was I'm, talking I'm, about. Hey, I'm gonna piggyback on that. I'm gonna piggyback on that. So check this out. If you go to the Congo, in Africa, right in the Congo is where all the 
all the gorillas reside. Listen, bro, I honestly believe, bro, that our people, the Congo and the and the prime and the gorilla, I believe those What's are our the protectors, thing called bro. The, um, they they were our protectors, bro. Like um, you know how like you know how like we have I honestly believe, bro, that like shit, bro. gorilla they say white people man, come from were like friends, bro. Things. Like, you know what I mean? Cause in the Congo, they were the dark they really people, were. Bro, you know what I mean? That's like, that's why they make yeah. all these movies with Planet of the Apes and they call them, uh, call arm, armies gorillas. The yeah. gorillas, yeah. Right, right. No, they're, right. they're like more like gorillas, but they're like white people. Because because they're just like us, the gorillas and the primates. They're just they like they you know, really they're, are. They're very intelligent and and, and I'm gonna we're tell you one, like this. one with them, and they're like ten t- like hundred times stronger than we are. So Man, they would have helped us. Listen, not, not not to sound crazy, but bro, I watched a show on TV, bro, and about the gorillas. Bro, them gorillas, bro, like the female gorillas, bro, remind me like a old of an old, old black lady, bro. Like a grandma. They really they do. Have, and, and the gor- I swear and they, they, do. they never they never ever broke the code with nature. Right. They never they, did. They're they're all hey. vegans. They, they, they they were they're too smart. That's, why they so they're much than, that's why they're so much stronger than us because you got to realize they still live in the nature and then they feet don't they don't wear clothes and shoes right, so they, uh, bro. they Talk to get you. the right nutrients you feel me and they feet stay connected like if we didn't have our shoes and stuff on that's have you ever heard the saying don't uh wear a shoe or walk around without no shoes on your feet because your feet hey. will get big you hey. become big Foot. Right, I got, I got right. make that, the bones be stronger. You feel what I'm saying? So you would be stronger. We would be able. Our limbs and shit to be stronger. I also yeah. believe that That's they put us in these houses. Yourself. These they Bro, put us got, in these houses because the ceiling, the ceiling keep us from growing. Because this is how, as far as we can see, our ceiling is growing. So right. we can't grow as far as our ceiling is growing. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? So hey, if you you're right. right. Hey, Huey, 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 right. you are so right because the tallest people in the world are found in the Congo, bro. The Congo. Yeah, they just like the like trees, you know? And if it's not even there. If, if you put, put a tree in a room, it'll grow yeah. outwards, eh? And if you put up. a fish in a bit, if you put a goldfish, right, in a fish tank, the the, the, the size of a normal room, that, that goldfish will become huge. Yeah. Right. So, yes. so it's the same aspect of looking at it like that. Right. Put things yeah. in a bigger yeah. environment, they yeah. will get bigger. Bro, this is right. a that's, so, that's that's probably a, that, you know, I think that has something to do with how we grew into giants because we lived for so long, you know, for like and hundreds what, and hundreds and trees. hundreds that's of was, years. Yeah, and that's why with so many trees, because we use, literally can eat the trees as vegetation. We right. Eat the whole tree. You feel right. me? You go back to the tree the of life. Tree, bro. The tree yeah. of life, right. The Fact. tree of life. Exactly. Hey, I want to touch on the intelligence of primates. I want to touch on the intelligence of primates real quick. Did y'all really know? Did y'all know that the story of Tarzan was a true story? Talk to him. Come on. Did y'all did y'all really know that? I bet I bet very few people that's even watching this or or, or that's gonna watch this soon will really Talk even know that. The Talk story of Tarzan is a true story. It's a true story. That. Like military, military, <laughs> military people was going through. I don't know where they was at, some jungle in South America or Africa, somewhere, uh, somewhere the out Congo, there where they got jungles the Congo, and shit. In the Congo, bro. In the right. Congo. And they oh, found, they found, they found a little young boy out there, a little young boy out there that was about 12, 13 years old. And this boy was living among apes, literally. Literally. Okay, now like, check this the boy out. had the boy off. has such an off. affinity with these apes. The boy has such an affinity up. with these apes that that he spoke their language. He talked. He I'm, was I'm, able to I'm, communicate with these I'm, apes. I'm, 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 I'm gonna blow y'all mind real quick. And this, I don't know if y'all boys even paid attention to it. And right now, he's just bringing tears to my eyes. Do you boys know that? Do y'all know that they killed Harambe to hide that fact because he was protecting that little boy? If y'all go back and watch the clip, I Harambe said that. was not killing that of little course. boy. He was hey, protecting. It don't look like it. It don't even look like protecting him, bro. He was protecting that boy. Yeah, and they killed, and, they, and, and, and the zoos killed them because, like, oh shit, like we need to, we need to, like, really, like, kill him because he is now back with his the original people. Like, I, I, I watched, I was they wanted to it, make I, I, controversy, right? And I was sitting here watching. I'm like, hold on, wait a minute, bro. Like that, that gorilla is protecting that little boy. Like, why they killed him? And I'm like, oh shit, because that gorilla realized that, hey, these motherfuckers got me locked up. And I, I'm gonna show the world that I'm not just no fucking shit. So, so, so that's showing that 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 the gorilla recognized captivity, and the gorilla hey. recognized that it's, it's being held against its will. And, and, 
Not only that, the gorilla ain't got Facebook. The gorilla ain't got net, uh, fucking TV, but that gorilla can tell you when you bullshitting him. He know you trying to yeah, you right. If you know body language, body language. Yeah, they know when you trying to pull a fast one on the ass. Just just body language, like a strong body language, man, and, and smell. He can smell it. You want to know what? Yeah, yeah. And you want to know what? Like oh, a yeah. strong black man, y'all boys. Like I mean, you really look at Harambe, bro. He like a real like strong. How we how us black men. Supposed to look if we were eating veg, like eating. But check the, this out. The trees and stuff, dog. Yeah, yeah, and and you know what? Not only is his physique advanced, his mentality is advanced. Like he may not be able, he may not be able to do math problems the way we do math problems. Right. That motherfucker might be able to solve yeah. a calculus problem with a bunch of eight. apples and fucking oranges on on, on motherfuckers like uh, uh eight right. for one. Uh, eight, that's bro. why. That's why plants eight. have cells and we have cells like plant fiber. Plant fiber and fi plant tissue could build their bodies more than we can ever imagine, man. If you look at the cow, all, all the cow eats all day is grass. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that speaking sign language. I saw that. He, he, saw he that. had a message to humans. He was like, people, they need to change and they, they have a little tongue. And he was like, he feel bad for even saying it because he felt like it was harsh. But he was hey, like, who, bro. Who was it? Who was it? Who said that we used to live forever because we lived outside? I think when he would pee, you want to want to know why, bro? Because think about it. If you if if a generation for millions of years or however long, like Bobby Hemmings, Bobby Hemmings say, bro, that there was never a time that we never existed. Think about it. That's you right. In the sun, because because the sun. In, yeah, go ahead. I was gonna add to that, my bro. Because the because we made we the, the roof our roof was the sun, stars, and the moon. That's all that I want to say. Or roof right. the sun, and, stars, and, 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 the moon. And, and, and you're constantly surrounded by stuff that's always living. Like, it's always life. There's always living. There's always the sun. There's always the moon. There's a, a continuous, endless cycle. So if you're getting programmed by the sun, right, through your through the black hair, which is like a solar panel, you're getting that genetic information through, the, through, the, through your hair. And then when you eat from the green leaves that's full of life, you get in that genetic programming of eternal life, the tree of life. Like, you know, yeah, because when we could picture, when we could picture the whole squares. world as your home, let me ask y'all a question. And instead of just one little house as your home, hey, you make the yeah. world your home. That's what happened. Check this out. Check this out. Let me ask y'all a question. Why is it that humans are the only freaking types of people or, or individuals or beings for that matter that actually go to war with themselves? Talk to them. Because we was, taught, we was taught, we was taught to be, we was taught to be barbaric and to taught to com, uh to compete. We it's a, it's a competition. It was a it's a competition yeah. thing. And you want to know something? I believe that another reason why animals are carnivores is because humans were not doing a goddamn job. It, it was a, it was a domino when effect. We, when we when we yeah. when we reason why. The reason why we not supposed to be carnivores is because if we ate all the damn meat in the world, if, if we ate all the animals in the motherfucking world at one damn time, there would be no more animals, right? So right. eventually, if you eat all these animals and you fucking with the vegetables, there isn't going to be no more damn food, and the animals are going to have to do what? They're going to have to turn on each other for food. It's just like if they put 10 people in a motherfucking room and they got one vending machine in that bitch. Eventually, at first, yeah, people are gonna start putting money in that motherfucker till ain't nobody got no more money. Till ain't nobody got no more money. Then they're gonna bust the damn vending machine open. Then they're gonna they're gonna ration and, the food. And, and, then and they're gonna that fight over back, the food. That goes back, that goes back to my that goes back to my original argument when I said y'all boys need to go see the movie Soylent Green, because in the movie Soylent Green, it said that the planet ran out of food. And the government, whenever somebody died, they turned their dead person into food, bro. Like that's what I'm doing. telling you. That's what I'm telling you now. Like what's going on is because it's a backlash from so many people being 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 taken away from the essence of what the hell we here for, which right. is why we need we to know this the planet. We have to know this knowledge because it's important for us to be farmers. It's important for us to be growers. It's important right. for us to put back in the mother nature because yeah, be one with the land and go it. back to the land. That's these what animals took us from. Yeah, these animals depend on it, and we depend on it. Our futures depend on it because if hey, we keep going down this line, if we keep going down this line, in a thousand years, some, some crazy shit, right? I don't know if you guys have seen this, but I'm from the hood and. And my whole 31 years of living, I ain't never seen 
no handheld grill. But that's how how crazy they advertising and people catch on to these things. And this is just another sign of brainwashing and, and conditioning and all that. You said so a handheld hand what? This, oh. this is a fucking handheld grill. You take it out the plastic, put the fucking shit on top, and make you a fucking meal. Now, now, I ain't gonna lie. Hot. Now, if I was going camping or something, I would use this. How but, is it? How does when, it get hot? But, 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 but when you see you, you, you just uh, you put the charcoal or wood or whatever you want in there to 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 make your fire to cook your food. But at the end of the day, when you see shit like this. I mean, that's I look a product at this, of that's the product. That's a that right there is a product of greed for money. Industry. Motherfucker got no, so hungry he no, needed no, money. No. That shit wasn't out there, so he invented and that one, shit. And one more thing, this this this, this shows you that some power about to get cut off. Motherfuckers are gonna need some food. Cooking. Right. Hey, this, and is, and this, this is a sign of the new world order. You remember back in World War One, World War Two, everybody had them portions, and they used to get sent portions of, of rations and stuff like hey. that in boxes. And you look at stuff like this, you're gonna be they already talking about I was just gonna say that America. they're gearing up, hey, giving us all these out. little things for survival. You ain't gonna be able to take cook food out. at your own home. You're gonna have to stand outside with hey. little ass fucking grills. Like look at I got this. some I got some I'm gonna tell y'all that's that's gonna trip y'all niggas out real quick. Y'all grew up on cartoons, right? Right. Talk to him. Hannah Barber was the leader in cartoons, right? Talk to him. I know Hannah Barber. Yeah, mm-hmm. everybody knows right. Barber. Jetson, All right, so check Flint this out. Stones. Hold up, y'all. I was about to get the. And what if I told y'all that the Flintstones Talk and the on. Jetsons and the Jetsons lived at the same time? Yes, bro. Okay, now hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me now, let me, hold up, now hold up, hold up. Let me put this in perspective real quick. Let me put this in perspective real quick. Let me put this in perspective real quick. What if I also told you that the Flintstones? What if I also told you that the Flintstones wasn't a cartoon depicting the past, Talk but depicting him. the future? Talk to him. Yes, bro. What if I'm the 